one of my favorite songs ever. Uh, Look oh at this guy. Oh my goodness. This is me as a kid. I thought I'd break out some baby video. What? How Why cute? didn't I think of How this? How cute is that? Oh my gosh, that's adorable. That is absolutely priceless. <laughs> me as a little tyke. Um, He's got the little hot pink piano as part of her Elton John costume. Here's the best part. Her name is Benny. Stop. Of course it's Benny. Parents must be a huge fan of mine. I'm sweating like a rock star in this costume, by the way. It's, it's, it's seriously 200 degrees under this jacket. Um, Benny and the Jets, one of my that favorite songs. That is the songs. cutest video. I, I, I love it. Why yeah. didn't I think of something like that for all of the babies I've had over my lifetime? That's a good one. Um, yeah. We actually wanted viewers to send in Halloween picks. It's the most picks. fun, yes. And so for Clicking in Cleveland today, Stephanie Haney, or shall I say, which spice are you? Posh spice? I'm ginger, ginger spice. Ginger spice. Of course you're ginger spice. <laughs> um, ginger spice. She's going to share some of the cool Halloween pictures that we've had so far. We got so many great submissions. Thank you guys so much for sending in your costume. So we went with a little bit of a theme to try and narrow it down. We went with a movie theme. This first one that we got came from Dana Peterson. It is the Adams Family. Oh, She's got nice. a wow. family, right? Oh my Gomez. gosh, that's so good. Gomez, Morticia, Stop. Uncle Fester, that Black Widow. Yeah. Then we also had a Home Alone theme come up. This yeah. came from Shelly Jane. So we've got Kevin McAllister in front, the two wet bandits in the back. <laughs> and then we have the Toy My Story goodness. 2 from Maylene Priscello. And she's Jessie, the yes. cowgirl. Oh, and my God. it's her little girl's first Halloween, and her name is actually also Jessie. How cute is that? That is adorable. Precious. And those photos, too. I know. Every, so these cute. photographers that are out so there. So creative. Yeah. Absolutely adorable. creative. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah. Stephanie. We appreciate it. Um, we do have some talkers today. We absolutely do. And we're going to start with this. There's, this is kind of a national push now, Maureen, mm -hmm. to do this. The 31st of October is always Halloween. Right. But, you know, this year it's on a Thursday, and it can be tough. You're a mom of young kids. you got to get them together on a school night, and then they've got to get in bed early because they've got to get up to school early. And I have to day. get to bed early, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> so there is a push to make a national trick-or-treat day. So you still have Halloween on the 31st. But as far as national trick-or-treat, there's a push to have it the last Saturday of October over every year. We want your vote. WKYC.com slash vote. Tell us what you think. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great idea. I, I would love yeah. it if it was always on the last Saturday of October. You know, at first, my, my gut instinct is like, oh, but it's Halloween. Like, that would be like saying, well, let's make Christmas Friday of every last week of December or I know, whatever. I know. But then I, I'm thinking... Over the last couple of weeks, we've gone to so many Halloween parties right. and so many trick-or-treat events that, you know what, if they ended up switching it to so you can trick-or-treat on the weekend, but there's still like Halloween parties at schools and dress up on Halloween, I don't even know if anybody would notice. I would be all for it. Yeah. I mean, what difference is it the 31st or the 27th? For me, it's the day of the week, and I think yeah. a lot of people are the same way. Yeah. So right now, according to the poll, 58% of you believe that, yes, it yeah. should be the last Saturday of October. I'd love that extra time to, and, like, wind down after the event, you know? Absolutely. I, I think that's a great idea. And who knows? Maybe one day it will become a national, I, I guess, a national holiday, mm -hmm. a trick-or-treat day. I would be all for that. Okay, you may have noticed over the last 10 years, Maureen, I'm sure you have, maybe even 15 yes. years, <laughs> that women's costumes have somehow gone from okay mm -hmm. to I don't want my kids to see that. Right. And it's almost like the sexier they can get, the better. It's just like a contest, and it's, it, some women use it as an excuse to just go way out there. Yeah. And so Jennifer Garner, talking about this recently, has this to say about that trend, listen. When it comes to Halloween costumes, go funny over sexy. Why would you dress like a flirty nurse when you could be a mailbox? <laughs> <laughs> and then there's this picture of Jennifer, who is sexier in her own way, yeah. but still sexy as a mailbox, but it's funny. It's yeah, funny. It is. Uh, you know what? I I am 100% with her. Okay, good. And maybe this is the Catholic school girl in me where, <laughs> you know, we just, whatever. We didn't do sexy costumes. We did funny costumes. I think we do have a picture. Like, there was one Halloween when I was with my college roommates. There I am. So most of the girls went out pretty much naked. I don't know if you can see underneath that circle. I actually put on all the clothes I possibly could, and I told them I was a dirty laundry pile <laughs> so I got the dirty in there but that's more my philosophy and I have girls and I hope that they go for funny and witty over sexy I, I just think, think funny it says and witty something wins. more yeah, I think it wins yeah. every time because every really, time. When, you, when you get right down to it some of these are basically lingerie yeah 
and they're just prancing around in lingerie. Right. And I, I would much rather see somebody come up with a really funny, witty, mm -hmm. smart costume. I think it wins every single time. Jay, you had a costume. Did you do a sexy costume? I did. Look well, at see, you. I went for funny. <laughs> Clearly, I didn't go for sexy. So this was when the Dosa Keys commercials yeah. were huge. Yes. And the most interesting man on the world was everything. So I, one year on ESPN, I dressed up as the most interesting man in the I world. I love it. And I had this fake cigar that when you blew on it, smoke came out and it looked very real. Yeah. And it was, it was first of all, so much fun to do it. Mm -hmm. But um, I think that's an example of maybe thinking yeah. something a little different. It's not right. sexy, yeah. but it was fun. I, I love that uh, we're it. having this conversation when I'm literally wearing probably the shortest <laughs> costume you've ever worn. I've ever worn. <laughs> well, so you're Lady let Gaga, me just cut you off at the pass before you go to your email and send it. This was... I, yeah. I think you look marvelous, lady. Well, thank you very much. Yes, a <laughs> sir and a lady with you on lunch break today. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, I'm a little spooked out by this, Maureen. Okay. We're going to find out if there are spirits in our studio. And I don't even know if I want to know that. I, I think there are. Well, we're going to find going out. I'm going out there. I'm going out on that limb. We're going to find out. Come back. Know this? <laughs> oh, we're back. You're on. We're, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm really spooked right now. Uh, <laughs> welcome back to Lunch Break. Uh, on this Halloween, we're trying to figure out, are ghosts real? You're either a believer or, or not. I you, am a you, believer. I'm yeah, a believer I'm too. A believer. Yeah. I've never seen a spirit, but I, I'm a believer. So we have with us today, here on Channel 3, some, first of all, what's your, what's your title? What's your... How, Paranormal investigator. Paranormal investigator. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. We just call her Marianne. <laughs> yeah, Marianne the paranormal investigator. Right. So what do you do? Um, if you think you have a ghost in your house, you call me. And if you do, I can see the inside of your house over the phone. You can? I can. And then you have choices. I give you a couple, three choices. You can try this, this, or this. But if you want me to come out, then I will talk to your ghost and find out who they are and why they picked you and get all the information I can and you get to ask all the questions you want. Are you spooked out by this? I'm spooked out by this. <laughs> this is scary I don't know. to me. I mean, I, you know, Grandma started taking me to funerals when I was four. Yeah, I, I'm, you I'm, started to feel a long like... Time. So I've been doing this. Do people have a per you said that they have a ghost. Does it usually have a personal connection if somebody has a ghost or could the it just be? The ones that I see mm -hmm. normally when I go into a person's house, the owner does not know who the ghost is because your relatives wouldn't do this to you. Okay. Now, so it's what, someone left over from a previous family. Right. 
or they just followed you from the studio. They could have came with you anywhere. Can you tell? Is, do we have ghosts by us on us? You do. We do. You do. Tell me more. Yeah. Um, I think. Uh, okay. There's a ghost here named Michael. He's a studio ghost. He is not anybody named Michael alive. This is a dead person. And but he's here in the studio right now. Correct. Is he is he There's happy or is he one. mad? No, well, he likes all the Just energy that he can get from anybody here. Yeah. He does. Okay. Yeah. And he's been talking about the ghosts that follow you around. Now, the ones that follow you around. Me, personally? Correct. The ones that follow you are from the light, so they've crossed over. And those are usually relatives. And when I get a name, when they tell me a name, I just write it out the way it sounds to me. Do you know somebody named Marie Santori? That's my mom. She's alive, thank goodness. No, this is a grandmother. Okay, well, I, I uh, um, my mom's name is Marie. Um, There's but... also an, a, a, a grandfather named Emerson. Emerson, my grandfather. Where are you getting this from? Michael told me. <laughs> Michael the ghost. Michael the ghost Michael told the ghost. me. This is what I got sit standing over there. You know, you, maybe you should just sort of see if any of that makes any sense to you. Because... Yes, it makes all kinds of sense. Emerson oh. was my grandfather. Emmadel was my grandmother. Well, and, and this, this you can't be like. Did you ever do an article on this or anything? No, where it's on Google. No, no I don't. If I touch no. that right now, it would die. I can't. I don't touch computers. <laughs> I don't even have a cell phone. What's Emerson so, saying right now? What's he? What, my, we, he's, we don't know? he's very proud. He, for some reason, he, and I don't understand what that means. He doesn't like to be surprised. He didn't like surprise. I don't know what that means. I don't either. Did you know, know him well? He's my grandfather. He passed when I was like five or six. Okay. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he doesn't visit you. And your father is crossed over, correct? My father's passed. He's fine. He's crossed over. He's doing good. He keeps an eye on your mom. So everything's good about that. Okay. I think you guys and have a I lot to I don't know what this Berry Street is. Berry Street? I, I grew up on Mulberry Drive. Oh, maybe that's what it was. I don't know. Yeah, I have a brother named Barry. But he's still with us. I'm really no. spooked out now. That's really good. That's pretty incredible. Okay, um, so there is one that's attached to this uh, Carl person. Okay. Well, it one of our employees, Carl, is a photographer. Right, he has a ghost with him. He does. And then there's one attached to somebody named Jason, a weatherman. Yeah. Jason. Jason, yeah, he's Jason. not here right now. Right. He, he, he has a ghost? He does. He does. And they followed him from Georgia. Okay. Okay. We'll I think have you to just tell Jason. Georgia. I don't. I don't. So am I ghost free? Not oh so gosh! Not you just so gave much. me a look. Not oh so no much. way! We have to go to you, commercial oh, break. Go. But we're going to continue is. to be freaked out while you're <laughs> yeah. watching this commercial. I thought I made and it through. Ghost we'll be free. back with more lunch break in just one so second. Do, I want to hear about her. Wait, do I have?
Welcome back. Uh, you know, this is a big deal. It's a beautiful way to say I do. Couples tied the knot inside the historic Akron Civic Center today. Akron Municipal Judge J uh, Ron Cable performed the Halloween ceremonies and costumes were encouraged. Are you freaked out now? I seriously need a standing eight count right now. Yeah. <laughs> she knew way too much about stuff that would not be publicly available. Yeah. I mean, that was incredible. Emerson, my grandfather, if you're here, I wish I could have got to know you. Yeah, that's I incredible. I've heard Isn't great that, stories about him. But doesn't that make you feel good that, like, the, that the other side That he would be here is... following, sure. And here's our studio ghost that we just... Uh, <laughs> what are you? Keep... He's Oogie Boogie. He's Oogie from he the Night like Before Christmas. He looks like the poop Christmas. emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Have a happy Halloween, everybody. Thanks for making free news a part of your afternoon. Watch us live wherever you are, on our website, on our apps, and on Hulu and Roku. No matter where you are, free news is there.